Hey, hope school's out. How are you doing? It's been a long time. My name is Lars van Dijk. I work in Singapore for a company called Fluidec. Fluidec is a company that's active in condition monitoring. We provide equipment and solutions to anyone that operates a turbine or a compressor. So think of, for example, uh, power plants. Our uh, solutions actually help, for example, power plants to be more efficient, uh, reduce their CO2 output, but more importantly, diminish their industrial waste. And in doing so, we have actually been recognized with a B Corp certificate. So that means we're a good company. So I actually graduated from International Business and Languages, as it was called back then, in 2011. And what helped me most uh, with regards to my studies in my, my uh, career uh, was probably the, the, the practical part of it. So the internships and the projects that we did together with the, the uh, companies that were uh, close to Hogeschools Uit in the, the area of Maastricht. Um, where we had practical projects where you learn a lot of project management skills, which is useful basically in everything that you do. Also financial management I found very, uh, very useful in the projects that I did in the corporate world. Um, but also definitely intercultural uh, dynamics and uh, getting to know a little bit about other cultures, but also languages and especially a good comprehension in both speaking and writing of the English language helps you basically in everything you do. So if that's writing an email or if you need to write a report or if, if you have to convince somebody in a sales conversation or even just in a meeting, this part will always help you. And I think I got a very good basis there uh, from my IBL studies. So living in Singapore is actually pretty easy and I love the, the weather because it's warm all year round. Some people don't like it because it's quite humid, but I love it. Also, there's food everywhere. They got the best food from all over the, the world here. Wherever you go, it's easy to get very good food. I love it. I was a little bit skinnier when I came here. Um, it's easy to make friends as well. Most of my friends are actually Dutch, by the way. There's a lot of different cultures here and it's a real uh, melting pot. Uh, Work-wise, it's quite easy because the culture is similar to, to Western culture. Uh, they have similar customs, similar working hours, all that. Everyone speaks English, so that's convenient. Very easy to, to move around uh, the country. Uh, public transport is very good, safe and cheap. So if you're willing to work, uh, to live and work this far away from, uh, from the Netherlands, then I would definitely recommend it. Keep in mind, it's quite competitive at the moment and a little bit difficult to get in for, uh, for expat. It's, uh, it's high-paced, competitive environment, but other than that, a fantastic place to be. To me, having a global mindset means that you consider yourself a citizen of the world and uh, that you're open to exposing yourself to, to new cultures. And one of the most striking things from, uh, from my life and career was that I found out that many different cultures have very similar core values and people, whether they are from Indonesia or the Middle East or the US, they all want uh, similar things in life um, and that makes us actually all part of a global uh, human family. My advice to future students would be to, well first of all when you're young have fun, enjoy, be happy, but try to keep in mind what do you want to achieve in life. Set out your goals, principles and find out what are your weaknesses and strengths and try to manage that early on in your career because you would want to manage your weaknesses and capitalize as much as you can on your strengths. That's very important. Also, the world today is full of generalists and managers. So I would say if you have an opportunity to do something that you really like and love and you can specialize in that direction or in that field, uh, even within a company, um, then I would advise to go for that because that's in higher demand in the future, I think. Hoge schools out. I wish you a very happy birthday or Shungri Kwaile, as they say in Chinese. Gongxi 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 Nia means congratulations to all of you. And Zhe uh, Yi Angchen, I believe, means stay safe. In Chinese, by the way. <laughs> all the best, everyone. Take care. Cheers.